reviews. Hey there. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about a review of a product that I only recently came across and I'm in my 30s. So to only just discover this product recently, let's just say if I discovered it about 20 years ago, that would have been great. It's called the Soft Cup. What they are, are like a small round cup that you use instead of a pad, instead of a tampon, and it makes your period, to me, so much more non-existent and not affecting my daily life, which you just, you can't beat that. When I first read the reviews, I was hesitant because I wasn't sure just how it was supposed to be inserted, just how well it was supposed to work, if it was going to leak, if it was going to be gross. Thankfully, no issues. I've probably tried them, it's probably been at least six months since I've tried these now and I use them every month. They sell two different kinds. I'm going to be honest, I use the regular one and I reuse it for the entire period. I don't throw it away after each day because that to me is just a waste. It's a plastic cup. You insert it and every 12 hours you take it out, rinse it out and put it back in. It's just so easy and clean and I don't feel like I smell and I don't feel like it's disgusting. Whereas with tampons or pads, I just felt like they were dirty and didn't keep me clean, didn't keep me dry. I just kind of felt gross and I, I hated having my period. Many girls, of course, hate having their periods, but this makes it so much easier and so much more manageable. When you open the box, you're going to see six of these in a box and it looks like a pad already. You're thinking, wow, it's like in a, it's like in a pad wrapper. But when you open it, you're going to see this wild looking device and you're thinking, how in the hell am I going to make that thing go inside me? Let me tell you, I felt that way too. The only way that I can describe it is probably similar to a diaphragm. It's got this hard plastic ring, and then it's got the clear part that actually holds all of your junk, for lack of better terms. So basically, it's going to sit inside you at an angle, and it's going to catch all of your glorious monthly nastiness. And then you'll take it out, rinse it, put it back in, and so forth. Now. For me, I can go many days, which is the 12 hours. There's one or two days of my monthly cycle that I have to rinse it more than once because it starts to get heavy. I would say for the first time you try it, definitely wear like a liner with it just to be just to be safe that you've got it in properly. Probably my first first and second time that I wore it, I had to wear a liner just to make sure in case, there, in case I didn't get it in properly or it got too full, I didn't rinse it in time. You're going to squeeze it together and it's best to do it while you're sitting on the toilet, truthfully, because your cervix is at the right angle at that point and you're just going to insert it directly in and kind of angle it back a little bit. And you've got your pelvic bone, which you'll feel in the front of your body, you can feel this large bone. And you're going to actually, it's going to rest right on top of your pelvic bone. So when you put it in, you're gonna go in and down and it's gonna rest. And that's how it's going to stay inside you. And you don't feel it, it's quite comfortable. Compared to a tampon, I just feel like it's night and day better. And then when you're ready to take it out, you kind of push down like as if you're using the bathroom and actually kind of releases it off the bone and you just kind of hook your finger in it and pull it out. That's how I do it anyway. I've heard other people actually get up and under the ring and pull down. I don't want my finger going in there, thanks. It's disgusting enough as it is to pull it out. So I take my finger under this ledge here, pull down around the bone and then just slide it out. That way it all stays vertical. If you start messing with it, dumping it, it's gonna just go everywhere. Get to the sink, rinse it, dry it, if you back in and go. I mean, I'm telling you, it's like, these have been around forever, and I don't know why they're not more widely talked about, unless women just don't like the idea of having to deal with that area down there. It's just you have to put it in properly for it to work properly. And they recommend trying it even when you're not on your period just to make sure you're kind of comfortable with wearing it. But I tried it with my period, and it works like a charm. I mean, I can sleep in it. I can work out in it. And I feel like with tampons or with pads, if you would sleep in it, you would wake up, and you don't really know what to expect when you wake up. You may be a large pile of your own mess. Who knows? That's the joy of tampons and pads. You just never know what you're gonna get. With this, I feel like it all stays in one place like it's supposed to, and you have complete control over where it is and when you decide to dump it. Another thing with tampons is I feel like they were kind of uncomfortable at times. You put it in and just, it wouldn't quite sit right, and you were just a little bit uncomfortable that day, or you feel like you could smell it. I just, and the whole string, don't even get me started on that string. I just feel like it was a nightmare. So with this, it's completely invisible, and another perk is you can actually have intercourse with this in. Giggity, giggity, giggity. I'm not going to go into too much detail with that, but try it, see if you like it. If not, whatever. 
Some people say the man can't feel it. Some people say the man can. It just depends on your body. It depends on who you're with. It depends on, you know, everybody's different down there. So I definitely recommend the soft cup. I use it every period faithfully now and no longer buying pads or tampons, which I love because one box of the non-reusable, I know, shame on me, is like five bucks. And how many months am I getting out of this? Probably like six months. So think about that. How much are you spending on pads and tampons monthly? It's crazy to think about how much it's going to save you if you do it the way that I do, which is probably wrong. So on Amazon right now, six of them costs $6.20. That's like a buck a period. And the reusable cups, they're giving you two, which they're saying that's, it, that's one period per cup, are $4.52. So I like to reuse the ones that you're not supposed to reuse, but... I don't really see much of a difference between the reusable ones and the non-reusable ones, so we'll see if I just get sick and die. But at this point, highly recommend Soft Cup. If you haven't tried it, at least give it a shot. If you don't like it, it's not for you, whatever, that's fine. But I feel like if you're good with tampons, if you're comfortable putting them in and taking them out, then you can definitely do Soft Cup. And you probably won't regret it if you try it and you get comfortable with it because it's almost like not having your period. That's the great thing about it. Definitely thumbs up on the Soft Cup. Give it a shot. You won't regret it. Stay tuned for more reviews, more crazy videos, more randomness. Catch you later.